everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my little business, Nellium Crafts. I've been creating and selling stationery and small gifts for the past few years. And recently, I signed up to have a stall at my first craft fair. So come with me to prepare all my stall items. This was filmed over about a week, so there is a lot of footage. But I hope this cut down edit helps show my process. Let's start by making my mini gift tags. I plan to make 16 of my sets, with at least 3 of each. I ended up making 64 tag sets, with 12 tags in each set, that's 768 tags. So this took a lot longer than I expected. But this should save me time for any future craft fairs, as I can just restock any tags I sell as I go, without having to make them all again. But for now, you can just watch me speed through this process. I don't have the footage, but these are the labels for the tag. I write the name of the set on the label and stick them to the front of the envelope. They're then finished with a tied cotton thread bow. You can see the finished product at the end of this video. I wanted to make a display to show all the tag sets I had available. I thought this pin board would make a good display. I put on a white paper background to help the craft card tags stand out.
finish with my name at the top of the board and names for the tag sets. Printing out three of each of my favourite greetings cards. I use my linen card for these to make them really lovely quality and have them stand out. I organised to go to this craft fair quite last minute, so I had to order in these card display stands to hold my greetings cards. I think they look pretty good, but may change them up a little for future craft fairs. What do you think? Folding and adding a sleeve to my wrapping papers. For my stationary writing set, I have the writing paper pre-printed, but the sticker dots, washi tape stickers and envelopes all needed to be printed, and the stickers cut, so I did that next. I use compostable clear bags to keep the sets together and protected. I needed a simple way to show my prices and I saw a lot of other small businesses recommend having a we accept cars sign which customers appreciate. I also quickly made some other business cards. My usual business cards are also my thank you cards which I include in my online orders so I needed some that were more for information and advertisement. On the topic of advertisement, I used my thermal printer to print off these small QR code and business link stickers. I added these to my treat bag that I thought would be good as simple carrier bags if customers needed them. This is actually a little video I did for my TikTok. Go and follow me on there at the Crafts if you don't already. But it shows off all the items I made ready for the fair, which was the very next day.
These are my tote bags, which you didn't see me make in this video, as I made these a little while ago. It's the day of the fair. Let's pack up the car. As you can see, it was raining today and it continued to rain pretty much all day, but I'll get to that later. So after all that, I got to the fair and set up ready for an exciting day. Sorry I didn't film any more footage for the day. Honestly, I was a little nervous and forgot to film any more, but I did take this photo of my setup. I also remembered on the day of the fair that I wanted to include my memo pad, so you can see all of those on the left hand side of the table. These were all pre-made, so they were easy to add to my setup. Unfortunately, as I said, it was a pretty rainy day, and I think it put a lot of people off visiting the fair, so there weren't many visitors. I was lucky to still make a few sales and had a great day otherwise, especially meeting all the other small businesses. So I think this was a very successful day and a great way to ease into craft fairs for me. I'm definitely looking forward to doing more in the future. What do you think of my setup? Let me know in the comments. I'm excited to start this channel too. I don't know what I will be posting. Hopefully this will just be a place to show my small business, personal home projects, DIYs, arts and crafts, and just my life's little adventures. So make sure you subscribe to join me on my journey.